let's say at the end of an initial seven day period, you've actually delivered within your business 280 conversions between all of the kind of digital marketing activities. Now, of course, if you add up, you know, the individual sales that the different channels are taking credit from, from let's say it's social, it's search and display and video in this case, then, you know, you always get a much bigger number, right? So, so how does, how does this happen and how does using this data, how does that help you improve performance and efficiency of your campaign? So let's take an example where we're just picking Facebook here. It could be a search or it could be any, any individual channel. So at the end of the first period, Facebook, you know, sees that it, it, it generated or was responsible for 200 conversions. And imagine you had a scenario where you had two ad sets in your campaign, ad set A delivered 110 and ad set kind of be delivered 90 conversion. You had an initial budget set up of, you know, you split your budget even be about hundred dollars kind of for the period. Um, and therefore, you know, you can work out what your CPA is, right? So what you might do is um, what actually Facebook increasingly with its campaign budget optimization tool will do is will shift more budget over time into ad set A because clearly it's performing better, getting you more volume and a lower CPA. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good. Right. Um, now, if you look at the exact same campaign and same period, but you look at it from that cross-platform perspective. And so depending on, on what, you know, looking at a data-driven attribution model, it doesn't matter. And Facebook has actually been given credit for uh, contributing to 110 conversions, uh, search 120, and let's say display and video 50. And of course, Facebook was involved in, in more, but in terms of actually being given kind of a weighting and a credit. And the other thing that you'll typically see is actually it's a different ad set that's driving those different proportion of the conversions. Right. And, and why might this be the case? Well, if you take in this case, ad set B here um, is, is given credit for 80. So ad set B is probably further down the funnel. It's probably could be a dynamic product ad. It could have an urgency built into it. It could have a call to action, mm -hmm. it could have a special offer. So it's more likely to drive um, and take more responsibility for, for the conversions. Ad set A, on the other hand, might be much more top of funnel. So it's it's doing some work, but yeah. actually it's not driving conversions according to the attribution model that you've set out. So, you know, after the same period, so remember the same budget was spent across, but actually the true CPA, so from a cross-platform perspective, is quite different now. So right. you end up with 333 versus 125. Okay, so what, what you would want to do then from a, that's if you're from a cross-platform optimization point of view, if, would be to actually, I want more of my budget um, to be made available for ad set B. Mm -hmm. And I want to win the auction. So I'm going to bid higher to kind of win the auction for ad right. set B. So you're not, you're not talking about pulling budgets out of different platforms essentially, but more or less, it's just refining the ad sets within the platforms to optimize yeah. to the best possible creative for yeah. the overall campaign. Yeah, and I, so, so I think at this level, the way we're talking about, no, you're not. Yeah. Um, but if you take it to the next level, then what, what as a marketer you want to be able to do is to dynamically adjust the budget between even the platform. Why do you care, you know, yeah, exactly, um, no. uh, which ad in which platform um, gets most budget um, so long as it's the one that's more likely to drive my goals. Okay. So if we look at this, it can maybe campaign, look, what, what happens after, let's say after another week and you've, you've shifted budget. Um, and if you take the, the budget reallocation that comes out of the box within a platform, such as Facebook, then remember it was shifting budget over time into ad set A because it yeah. thought that was the most performant one. But if you look at our, and if we look at this campaign now, not from the wall garden perspective, but from the cross platform perspective, then the the CPA you know was much greater. So for your budget of 180, you know you're operating a much higher CPA. So you're going to get you know, and the maths will work out. You get 70 conversions. And um, now if you look at the same and imagine you had taken a different strategy, and you'd actually shifted the budget over time, and you won't do it all in one go, but over time you'd shift budget increasingly to ad set B. And remember the true CPA there was 125 versus a 333. So now all of a sudden you have a much greater capability to drive more conversions from the same budget. Right, okay, on, the, on the individual channel. On the individual channel. Right, yeah. okay. You can very quickly see radical changes in the performance of your campaign and the efficiency of your campaign by being able to step outside of... Take a, take a kind of a, a full picture. Yeah.